in America, you have the Kentucky Derby, and in England, we have the Royal Ascot. And it's not just about the horses, it's a celebration of hats, and it's an essential part of the British social scene. And I had the chance to go. I think the thing I love best of all about it is the fact that it's so British and so traditional. You never get an occasion like this. Even at weddings now, you don't wear hats, you don't bother to wear hats, and there's certainly there's no way I'd wear this to anybody's wedding. I wouldn't fit in the church, I don't think. For me, as a, as a girly girl, I think the thing I've loved is the dressing up and the whole paraphernalia of what hat to wear and which clutch bag and what shoes. And just the trying not to get your heels stuck in the grass when you're tiptoeing, mincing across the lawn to place your bets. Your hat stood out amongst the crowd. I just wanted to know where you got it. I made it myself. You made it yourself? Oh, gosh, I, it's very exciting. People are very well-dressed, but it's not just for the well-heeled are here. I honestly think that people from all walks of life are able to come. Um, the ticket prices vary, so it's a time for everybody to mix together and just have a nice day where you can forget all your troubles. He's got it! Go! 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 go, go, go. Yes! 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 We are now in the weighing room. This is a very important room. And there is a jockey. Liam Jones? Yes. Have you ridden already today? No, not today. Now, I was telling you about jockeys being petite. You've got a high heels on. Do you want to ride in those? If you if you took them off, you'd be the same size. <laughs> Cheeky. Let's not kill the magic. So you're in the fourth race of the day. Are yes. you nervous? No. You don't you don't find nerves help, or do you reckon it's just best to be calm? No, just to be calm, relaxed. We are in the parade ring, number three, which was Camford Cliffs, which I had a bet on, and I won it. So I'm really pleased about that. I'm five inch train number ten. I would imagine the betting people are the people losing out here. There's probably not as much money as they probably would like because of the, the credit crunch. You know, I've, only, I've been putting £10 on, which is like $17 on to win. We're terribly sorry, Amanda. Goodness me. We have to. Oh, my God. Who are you? Have and fun. people from... Oh, bless you. Take care. I'm All winning. walks of life can come. It's not just the Queen. <laughs> They let anyone in there. Well, you saw they let absolute nutters in. Uh, and so, <laughs> you'd be love, you'd love it, Dave. I'm going back. In I'm, your speedos and a big hat. There we go. Now, Look. do you get HBO and free cable on that hat that you wore? Yeah, yeah. That's... And I had a really good reception on my mobile, on my <laughs> cell phone. Right. That's very good. Now, I heard Simon Cowell was there as well. Yes, I was in Simon's box, Ooh. as it were. Mm. Yeah, no. Now, was there he criticizing is. the horses? <laughs> There look at is. that. Maybe we should make up our own. Um, I'm winning there. Look, mm. I'm telling. I'm giving him a tip there. Does ah. everybody in the UK gamble? Pardon? Oh, oh there's, there's <laughs> Dave. Ah, yes. Dave the <laughs> you know, I didn't want to tell you guys. Oh, yes. I was in London last weekend. That's